Hi everyone, we've already discussed about opening principles in the two previous videos and this time we are going to talk about time in the opening, why does it matter so much. This is the third and last chapter dedicated to opening principles, so in this lesson I'm going to discuss topics such as how to avoid losing time making useless moves, how to put your king in a safe place as soon as possible and how to trade time for space or material when the situation requires it. Are you ready? So let's start. First important point, do not waste time making useless pawn moves. So usually you have to make one or two pawn moves but more pawn moves could leave you behind in development. And that's what we're going to see in this example. Look at this game where black is going to play too many pawn moves. First, e4, e5. Perfectly good moves to start with. White continues wins the knight to f3, targeting the e5 pawn. Black has to do something. d6. It's a bit passive, but it protects the e5 pawn, so why not? White logically continues with d4 claiming space advantage in the center. Black protects with f6. It's the third pawn move and moreover it's weakening the king because this diagonal becomes exposed and we'll see it becomes important later on. White continues making logical moves and bishop to c4 is excellent because it's a very good diagonal for the bishop. Here it controls so many weak squares on black's side. Black continues with this move on c6. The only point of this move is to control the d5 square, but really there was no rush to do that. It would have been better to develop a piece as soon as possible. White castles. Black plays a6. Now this becomes serious. It's a really useless move. And this position looks quiet, but Actually, white has already a big, big advantage. There is a big advance in development because white has castled and two pieces are already out. And even if there is no real threat at the moment, there are many ideas that are in the air. First possibility would be to capture on e5 with the knight and then follow up with queen to h5 check. I'm not saying it would be good in this situation, but this is moves that you have to consider. Or you can simply choose to finish the development. Put the knight to c3, very good move. The rook to e1, then later on you put this bishop out. It's very easy to develop here as white. And on the other hand, black in this position already has to find exact defensive moves to survive. So. At top level, very top level, black would be considered as lost in this situation. The next piece of advice, don't try to move your queen out too early. Because this piece is so powerful, remember, 9 points, the, the enemy can develop his pieces and at the same time chase your precious queen. And if that happens, you will lose time and be behind in development. Let's see an example, e4, e5, and then white moves the queen to h5, which is, okay, the idea is to attack this e5 pawn, but actually black has many ways to defend it correctly. As I said also, the, the other idea is to threaten an f7 mate in a few moves, but it is still premature. Now, what happens? Black continues with knight to c6 to protect the e5 pawn and white does not play very consistently and moves the bishop to e2 in this game uh, which is very passive actually. So black continues developing the knight on its best square and at the same time attacking the queen. So it means that you win a tempo doing so. So white is forced to move the queen back and now black can 
already developed comfortably in the center and push the pawn to d5. If black is able to do this so early, it means that something has gone wrong already for white. White continues with the knight to c3. Black plays really good moves. Here this bishop on g4 attacks again the queen on f3. So white is forced to move the queen on another square. In this position, black really has the upper hand because uh, white has lost some time in the opening. Black is better, has a space advantage in the center because of these two pawns. More pieces are out on uh, black's side and this queen on g3 is still feeling a little bit awkward here. Again, time is critical in the opening, so you should never waste it uh, by moving your pawns or your queen too many times. Focus on the knights and the bishop first. We've already seen a lot about time in the opening and this lesson is quite long so we're going to stop here and the next video will be again about time in the opening and this time we will study real games. Stay connected and remember to check my video next week.